On the defensive side, here's Stanley to throw it on second down. In trouble and swallowed up. Joe Gaziano. Takes the fake on second and short. Thorson all day to throw. Eventually checks it down. And a nice move from Bowser to get a first down near midfield. 6 5 2 40. They say one of the fastest players on the offense. Against pressure, they whip it outside to easily. And an important tackle there with the pressure coming from Nate Hall. Kelly again, the lead blocker. And Sargent can't get away. He was hit in the backfield and ultimately dropped. Second and six, back to the ground, and a hole for Bowser! Isaiah Bowser to the end zone, touchdown! Northwestern finally breaks through as the freshman goes 34 yards. You're going to see two guys pull around. We're going to the backside full to give Bowser one lane, and then the front side pull, really the center there, Jared Thomas. He ends up cutting down Jack Hockaday to allow Bowser to accelerate to the end zone. No, less than 100 yards, two interceptions, nearly a third there. It's Bowser looking for a hole. He's got it. Bowser cuts, sticks the shoulder down, and has a first down to the 16. Rugby-style kick. Here's Flynn Nagel. Steps out of a tackle. And a good return for Nagel into Iowa territory. And a whole lot better on third down in the second half. They'll run it, and Hanaoka has a first down. Chad Hanaoka, the walk-on, who had two carries over his first three and a half seasons. It's again, a guy playing at D-tackle, he's really a DN. Thorson in the one-on-one. End -on -one. zone, diving attempts. And a catch for a touchdown by Ben Skoranek. What an effort, either way. What an effort. And really, it was his ability to separate once O.J. Moody and him looked back for the football, and it was the extension. I mean, he had to use every bit of this 6-4 frame to catch it. And off on first down. He lost the football, and Northwestern's got it. Ivory Kelly Martin had it knocked out of there by Joe Gaziano. And Northwestern, for the first time, is going to win the Big Ten West. Now they're going to find themselves at in Indianapolis. With a chance to head to the Rose Bowl for the first time since Pat Fitzgerald was a player in 1995.